Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how you can automatically unseal your vault every time uh, you restart it. So there are different uh, cloud services that uh, provide you uh, key management systems like Azure, Key Vault, um, uh, AWS, KMS and so on. And what you have to do is to basically configure Vault to use that service to unseal itself. So what I mean by this is when we, for whatever reason, restart our Vault instance and go back to the browser and refresh it, we are asked for the unseal key portion. <clears throat> and after we provide it, what we can do and give the root token is basically we are allowed to sign in. So what we want to do is to go to AWS. This is going to be an example. And we are going to search for KMS, so key management service. And what we want to do is to create a key which should be a symmetric key and it should be used for encryption and decryption. And the display name is going to be Vault Seal. We don't need really a description or tags and we leave basically everything to the default and finish the creation. So this is going to be one. In, uh, one piece of the puzzle, so to speak. The next one is going to come from IAM. And uh, basically what we want to do is to create a user. And let's call it uh, seal, vault seal. And we want to provide access. It should be IAM user. And what we want to do after the user was created, return to the list, and we want to add the permission. And attach policies directly, and we want to use the administrator access, and add the permission. So now we have both part of the, oh, one thing. We need to create an access key and we want to use it as a third party service. And of course I understand it and create the access key. Okay, now we have to configure our Terraform uh, or rather Vault instance. So we are going to use the Etsy Vault D vault.hcl and basically here we check if there is a seal section and we have one which is responsible for the AWS KM, KMS auto unseal and technically what we have to do is to specify the access key which will be the access key for the user and the secret key, which will be the secret key for the user. So let's go back. This is going to be our access key and this is going to be our secret key. And what we need is the key ID from the KMS and this is going to be it. So this section we are going to need. And if it goes well, we should be able to save this configuration part and use the sudo systemctl restart vault. <coughs> Journal ctl.xeu vault service. So technically, this is a failure, error parsing seal configuration, fetching KMS wrapping key information. 
what? So we have to, or we have the appropriate key configured and why is it not working so that's sudo vault server config is equal to let's see vault and vault.hcl so error parsing seal configuration fetching away as fucking he not found key does not exist so key ar run what is the key oh eu north one so let's edit the configuration file vault and vault.hcl and seal and it was eu north one it should not have been left as the default so system ctl start vault and now it is running so <clears throat> if we were to try and log in to the vault let's check it so the vault is sealed but this is not going to work anymore because what we have to do is to use the vault operator in it command and export the vault addr to be https 127.0.0.1 and export vault skip verify equals true and vault operator in it so unseal key portion it should come from here so that's one and this is going to be another one hmm what operator unseal no seal migration is pending uh, vault migrate vault operator and what do we have here unseal let's give it another restart and init it it's already initialize and unseal wow migrate option not provided and migrate dash config is equal to at c volt volt dot hcl storage source block what let's look at it because it was working Yeah, storage. Hmm. Yeah. Here. 
operator on seal migrate. All right, let's go back. And we are going to use this one. And we need another one. Oh yeah, this was a missing step. Cool, <coughs> Anseal migrate. Good, and Volt operator in it. It's already initialized. So let's give it a system CTL restart Volt. And we are going to see that now we don't have to unseal it. What we have to do is just enter the root token. So that was basically it. And now we have successfully migrated our Vault instance to automatically unseal with uh, AWS KMS and with the help of a IAM user. And that was all. See you in the next one.